What's up guys, Van Zeeben here. Uh, this is going to be the 15th tutorial in Java 2D game engine development, which is a mouthful to say, so I don't know what I'm going to call it because that is too much to say. But uh, this one was going to be networking and it was going to be released Wednesday, but I need a, f not a filler video, I need a video in between that to actually update some things in the game that need to be done. Um, I don't want to include this in the networking videos because those are going to be strictly networking and they're going to be pretty long themselves, so this is just going to be a quick update. Um, so anyways, first one, uh, this is going to be more of an enhancement rather than an update. Um, one of my viewers named Fright01, he posted a comment in, I think it was episode 8, something like that, uh, where he noticed that this function right here, this render tiles function, wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. Um, and it's something that I overlooked earlier and he's 100% correct in pointing this out. Uh, but essentially what it's doing here is it's rendering every single tile in the level, regardless if it's being seen or not. And that's a huge performance drain. So we're going to fix that today. He did post an algorithm for uh, fixing it, but his is, his is a little off. So we're going to fix that up today. But if we run this, I'm going to get a base so that we can actually see what the performance is like. So 118, 110, 117, 117. Let's say 118, sure. 118 is going to be the benchmark. That's going to be the original value because it's kind of in the middle of everything here. So what we're going to do here is we need to set it to the um, to the tile that we're being rendered, the minimum Y tile. Now this tile, if we remember, the, the Y offset, if I run the game again just to show you guys to emphasize on this, the Y offset is this corner here and it's how much work, like where the, where the screen is being offset, actually it's kind of here but it's uh, how, how much the screen is being offset by. So if this player is here, the screen isn't being offset because he's not past the halfway point. But if we move over to here, we're going to start increasing the coordinates here that we're offsetting it, and it's going to be moved over. Um, it's same when we go down. So we're actually going to need to use that value to find the minimum coordinate. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say Y offset and right shifted 8, or 3, sorry, right shifted 3. And this is just going to give us the tile ID of the the left or the topmost uh, tile. So that's what that is. And we're going to copy this over, and we're going to put it for height. But instead of just being this one, we're going to add here screen dot height, just to add um, just to add the height value here. So now it's going to be the minimum. I'm pointing to my screen with my finger. It's not working. Uh, it's going to be this this here to here, or sorry, this here to there because this is how actually the screen height is but right now we're in between tiles you'll see so if I move down just a little bit to oh I gotta go past half right there you'll see that it starts to render in that tile and that's because we're actually doing kind of like a min like if, it, if it's any coordinate over zero it's gonna render that tile um, past that so if we do past here these tiles aren't gonna be updated at all because they're over zero but it still thinks we're under zero so just to fix that, we're just going to add one here. Um, it's a very simple fix. There's, there are probably better ways to do that. But this is just a simple version, so we're always going to render one extra tile on here, just in case. And you see that performance has already gone up almost 100 FPS. So that's, that's, that's great. Um, now for the X, it's exactly the same. Instead of being 0, it's going to be X offset. And instead of the maximum being this, it's going to be X offset and screen.width. Okay, so we're going to run it again and just see just how much of it's increased again. It should go up about another 10 FPS, which it has, I think, yeah, about 20 FPS. So you'll see that the, the FPS has actually doubled now and it's starting to lower as we get near all this water because the water is a big FPS drain, even when standing in the middle of it, though. Um, but yeah, so that FPS has, has increased a lot, and I want to thank Fright01 for pointing this out because it was something that I did overlook. Um, so... Thank you. Uh, if you guys see anything f that you think is wrong, feel free to point it out because stuff like this does happen and I run over things pretty fast. So yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Um, secondly, what I want to do is in the multiplayer game, we're, we have no way of distinguishing who, like what player is what. You'll, you would just see this player here and say this player there and another player there, but you don't actually know who's who. For, for instance, this, we could, if I go over to like here, they could both legitimately be the same player. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a username above his head. Um, this is not the way to do usernames at all. 
there you should actually use a GUI for that kind of stuff but we're just gonna do a very very simple pop-up box just to actually see who's who uh, for now and again this is not how to do a GUI uh, we will be going over GUI programming in the episode after the networking most likely but this is just a quick way so that we can actually see some differences uh, so here we're gonna say we're gonna go into the player class first off and we're gonna say private string username and then in the constructor we're gonna add, add a new argument of type string called username and we're gonna say this dot username oops, username is equal to username okay so that's just gonna set this username up here uh, we're gonna go down into the render function now and after everything we're gonna say if username is not equal to null then we're gonna do uh, font dot render username screen uh, x offset y offset and we're just gonna arbitrarily move up 10 uh, just so it's there's a little padding between the player and the the, uh, the text now we're gonna say the x offset or not the x offset the color is gonna be colors dot get negative one negative one negative one and full white and it's gonna be a scale of one uh, now this offset needs to get moved over because actually let's just fix the game let's just update this so in the if we go into the init method in the game class uh, when we create the player we're just gonna add a new thing here we're gonna add joption pane uh, dot show input dialog this and the object is going to be please enter a username now what this is going to do is it's actually going to pop up a dialog box saying please enter a username and then when you enter that username it will put that value in here whatever we put in there so let's just run it and see what's happening and you'll see that there is an issue that I'm going to solve as well but let's just put in Van Zeeben here uh, so let's move down a little bit and you'll see that the the username is starting to be rendered at the le leftmost point of your character so we're just going to fix that that was the issue I was referring to with the X offset oops did not mean to double click that um, so we're gonna minus here and we need to minus the, the width of the username divided by 2 so we're gonna say username dot length um, divided by 2 times 8 there is another issue with this as well if we go back here and look you will see that it's starting to render it here or it's it looks like it the middle is here when the middle should actually be here and again that's because this is where it's starting to render so it is technically doing it correct but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna minus 1 here and put brackets around that because of bed miss and then you'll see it is correct there so now we do have the username and it does bob with the character which is fine um, I don't mind that at all it looks it's actually quite nice so yeah there's that um, the final thing that we need to address there's there's nothing left in this game that I need to do for the networking but there is something that I'd like to show you guys um, so our good friend John Capri has given us another update I think the last one was way back in episode 7 or 8 or something like that it was around that time where he showed us his game and showed us what he was doing with it um, if you guys have any games that you've been working on from using these tutorials and you want to show them and show everyone what you're doing feel free I would love to take a look at them and I, 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 I would make a whole video about this if, if a bunch of people did it but uh, let's just run his game here and I'll show you um, he does also ha use github and he has a git repository so you guys can go check out his actual source code as well if you want to um, it's really cool stuff so he's got a GUI here we can use WSAD to move down and up um, A and D don't really do anything because you're moving up and down but it's it's for further stuff um, options you can hit E and it says imaginary volume control high score there aren't even points and let's start the game so you'll see now I have my character in game um, and he walks around and he walks around this level he does have collisions implemented so it's very nice and he's also got that health still which is really cool um, if we hit escape we get this little menu system popping up which is really nice um, one thing that I would suggest is this text down here making it not black because that is way too hard to see against the black background or the, the dark transparent background um, but if we go to switch time which does work we move up go to resume you'll see that the time has changed well, kind of um, if we go to resume again now it's nighttime now there are some issues with this because he's not actually changing the time he's just kind of altering the color of the pixels and he's he's not really altering the the lumosity or the simulated lumosity of these pixels he's just kind of changing the color of them which is which isn't the best solution um, and I will go over a better one later on 
but uh, it's very, very cool stuff. And there is another issue which I pointed out, and I'll point this out in the video because just because I can't be bothered to send him a message about this. Um, this is pretty long and hard to explain. But anyways, this this switch time function, uh, if we hit E on it a bunch of times, we go back to resume. Now, again, it's probably not going to do it because I am recording and nothing ever happens when you're recording. But there are certain circumstances where when you hit uh, switch time, after turning it to night, it'll actually crash. Um, reasons for this, I don't know, and I can't tell you any. But it does, oops, it does do it. Um, I'll just stop doing that because I don't want you guys sitting here for 10 minutes waiting for me to, to, to do that correctly, or do that incorrectly, rather, I guess. Um, one more. I don't know. It does happen sometimes, though. We'll hurt ourselves here a little bit. That switches. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Something to do with hurting, I guess. Is is that the actual, the kavat, the thing that that makes it screw up? Let's check again. Let's go hurt herself, and let's go and let's go switch time, resume, switch time, resume, switch time. Now it's night time. Hurt ourselves, and no, that wasn't it. So that was just unrelated. It does not have to do with the hurting system. So don't worry about that. But we can also kill ourselves here, and it'll pop up this You Died screen, which is really, really nice. I really like how this looks right now. Um, it says Retry Main Menu Exit, we'll just exit. So this is really, really good. I'm glad to see that people are taking initiative. Um, so props to him, and I'll link his Git repository, as well as his channel in the description, as well as Frightso1's comment about the um, rendering. If you guys have any comments or anything about this video, or you have anything further that you'd like to ask me or kind of do, feel free to post it in this vid in the comment section below. I will try to get to them all. Um, and tomorrow, again, you guys should be receiving the video on networking, so look forward to that, and that will be up tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.